Hi, I'm Perry Romanowski, and welcome to Cosmetic Science in 300 Seconds, brought to you by Chemist Corner. Today's topic is cosmetics. Cosmetics are used by people all over the world and represent a huge industry that sells over $300 billion a year. Almost every person on the planet uses some form of cosmetic product. This is true now and has been since the dawn of civilization. Throughout history, people have used cosmetic for three primary purposes. Camouflaging flaws, improving overall appearance, and enhancing attractiveness to the opposite sex. The first direct evidence for cosmetic use are some 30,000-year-old cave paintings in Europe that show people with colored faces. In ancient Egypt, from around 3500 BCE, cosmetics were routinely used for religious ceremonies, aesthetic and hygienic reasons. They used a variety of natural ingredients like oils, honeys, natron, and even lead. There is also evidence of cosmetic use by people in ancient India, China, and the Americas. The ancient Greeks and Romans recorded their cosmetic use. The first cosmetic formulation book was produced by Galen during the second century. Recently, archaeologists have uncovered the oldest skin lotion, which was over 2,000 years old. During the Middle Ages, use of cosmetics was at times frowned on, but the technology developed along with medicine. The term makeup was introduced in the 17th century, and during this time, cosmetics were generally produced at home. In the 19th century, most cosmetic and perfume development was done in France, where it was more acceptable. It wasn't until the 20th century after World War I that regular use of cosmetics was viewed as socially acceptable. Throughout history, there have been instances of cosmetics harming people. Lead and mercury were common ingredients until it was discovered that they were poisons. In the United States, the cosmetic industry was largely unregulated until the passage of the 1938 Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. This helped set safety standards and provided the current definitions for cosmetic products. According to FDA regulations, cosmetic products are articles intended to be rubbed, poured, sprinkled, or sprayed on, introduced to, into, or otherwise applied to the human body or any part thereof for cleansing, beautifying, promoting attractiveness, or altering the appearance, and articles intended for use as a component of any such articles, except that such terms shall not include soap. What this means is that cosmetics are pretty much any product you put on your body that is meant to change the appearance. It also means that cosmetics are not supposed to have any significant effect on the biochemical processes of the body. If a product does, it is classified as a drug. There are five categories of cosmetic products, including hair, skin, oral, makeup, and fine fragrances. In each category, there are numerous types. Skin cosmetics are the most popular types of cosmetic products, including moisturizers, lotion, anti-aging creams, facial scrubs, body washes, deodorants, self-tanners, and toners. Sunscreens and anti-acne products are often sold with cosmetics, but they are technically over-the-counter drugs. Hair cosmetics include shampoos, conditioners, hair colors, hair sprays, hair dressings, styling gels, and various other hair styling formulations. Color cosmetics, or makeup, is what people usually think about when they hear the term cosmetics. This includes any type of product for temporarily changing the color of skin, such as lipstick, lip gloss, eyeshadow, foundation, blush, nail polish, and more. Oral care products are designed to take care of the teeth and mouth and include things such as toothpaste and mouthwash. Note, however, that toothpaste containing fluoride is actually an over-the-counter drug, according to the FDA. Fine fragrances are the last category of cosmetics that we will consider. They include perfumes, colognes, and mists, and are some of the oldest types of cosmetics. Some fragrance formulations have been unchanged for over a hundred years. While products in the cosmetic industry have not drastically changed since the 1960s, they have steadily improved in both effectiveness and safety. Today, cosmetics represent some of the safest consumer products that you can buy. In the future, we will see a blurring of lines between what is considered a drug and what is a cosmetic. A group of compounds called cosmeceuticals look to get pharmaceutical effects from the cosmetic applications. Nanotechnology also promises to drastically improve the performance of current cosmetics. 
For cosmetic chemists who formulate cosmetic products, the future holds some interesting developments, and the cosmetic industry will be around for years to come. As long as there are people interested in changing and improving how they look, the cosmetic industry will be here to provide them solutions. This brings us to the end of Cosmetic Science in 300 Seconds. If you want to learn more about cosmetic science and formulating, please visit our website, chemistcorner.com. I'm Perry Romanowski, and thanks for watching.